Hey guys, I'm Papa Pete, back with another pickup video. Today's pickup video is all stuff that I got on eBay. I think all of it's stuff that I got on eBay. But you know me, I'm pretty cheap. I won't jump on something. I'll usually wait until I can get a pretty good deal on something I really want. Well, I might have overpaid a little bit for one of the things that I bought today, but overall I'm really happy with what I got. Anyway, stick around. I can't wait to show you what I got this time. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. First of all, I gotta tell you, today I'm having a schooner. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Schooner. I don't know if anybody around here has heard of Schooner, but Schooner is the pride of the Maritimes. Listen. Ew, that didn't sound good at all. Anyway, put her in my Teen Canada mug here. Oh, yeah. There we go. That was a popular beer back when I was a kid. You don't see it around very much anymore. So I was really happy to get some the other day when I was down in Nova Scotia. Anyway, let's get on with the uh, pickups. The first game I picked up was Missile Command Complete in Box Sears Telegames version. I love all the Sears telegames, and this is an awesome game to begin with. Missile Command for the Atari 2600 is a lot of fun. It was a great, considering they could put a trackball on, I mean, I know you could play it with a trackball on different systems, but they had to convert it over to a joystick game, and they did an absolutely amazing job. I can remember playing this back when it was brand spanking new, thinking what a great uh, version from the arcade it was. It really was, if not just as much fun, as much fun as you would expect them to be able to translate, uh, given the limitations of the Atari system at the time. And this one is absolutely perfect. I got it for a great price, like less than $7 or something like that. And complete inbox, I waited around, I saw that, and I jumped all over it. Missile Command, Sears Telegames. I love collecting the Sears games. Now the next game I picked up for my Xbox collection. I actually already have these games, but I found this for like $10, and I thought, that is pretty freaking good. And what I got was the Grand Theft Auto Double Pack. It came already in a protective case, and it's just like brand new. How great is it to be able to pick up something like this? I was so happy to pick this up again for a cheap price, like 10 bucks, free shipping. How do you beat that? Uh, I've seen it in stores around here. There's actually a place that has one of these. These aren't all that uncommon, but they want $25, $30 for it. Uh, that's out of a store. It is certainly not in the condition this is, and it doesn't have the protective case. Uh, got a lot of the Grand Theft Auto games. There's still one more triple pack that I have to get for it, but uh, in the meantime, so happy to add this to my Xbox collection. Time and time again, I've gone back and I've watched different Hidden Gems videos on the original Xbox. Some of the best ones are uh, Metal Jesus's Xbox exclusives and Hidden Gems in the Xbox. Say what you want about these huge YouTubers, I really enjoyed them and that's part of the reason I collect these games nowadays. I've always said, I said right at the beginning, God damn you Sean Long, it's because of you that I'm collecting Xbox. I'm 450 games deep, something like that now, I don't know what it is. Anyway. This one has been on my want list for a long time, and I've never seen it around, and I've seen it online on eBay for really expensive from time to time, but not this time. I got it for a great price, well under 10 bucks, free shipping, and I got a copy of Phantom Dust. Now, Phantom Dust is an excellent third-person uh, action-adventure game where, uh, almost like a role-playing game, but you... you develop different skills there's like 80 different skills that you can build and you play through the game um, one thing about this phantom dust is i believe that they're actually starting to rejuvenate the phantom dust uh, series um, hopefully they do i've read a lot of good things about this they talk about it a lot and uh, i really can't wait to play this game it's a lot of the I, it's, no, it's nothing like Jade Empire, but it's just that style of third-person action game that's so much fun. I mean, you could say the same thing. Jade Empire, Gun Valkyrie, 
uh, all kinds of games like that. Well, Phantom Dust is a highly rated game right along the same line. The same line. Uh, so happy to finally add it to my collection. It's been on my want list for too long. Speaking of being on my want list for too long, you all know the Intellivision is my baby. It's what I love the most. And for third party uh, game creators, Imagic is one of my favorites. I've been trying to get all the Imagic games little by little. And I, I said oh, everything was eBay. Well, this one is not eBay. I got a copy of Ice Track. And I bought this off the Intellivision Invasion Group uh, from Thomas Caddy. And I'm really, really happy with it. He treated me really well. It was in great shape, but I had some bad luck with the shipping. It came in a, a priority, uh, priority post box. And it looked like the box, picture this game in the box like this. And it's like something fell on it this way because the outer box was pushed in. And then when I opened it up, it did have some damage on it. Not his fault, it was just shipping. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's a beautiful game. You know, it's sort of funny. I love to get games in great, perfect mint shape. But this doesn't bother me at all because I almost like the stories behind the games more than anything. And I bought this, like again, the guy's name is Tom Caddy from the Intellivision uh, Invasion Group. I highly recommend that he sells stuff on there now and again. Go right ahead, buy it from him. This is nothing. This is postal stuff. Um, I don't care because you know what? If I have a thousand games sent to me, 10 of them are going to be like this. 10, 10, 20, I don't know. It's going to happen. And I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I have Ice Track. It's for my personal collection. It sucks, but I can live with it and I have it. Very happy. As far as Ice Track itself goes, it's a great game. I've read a lot about it. I had never played it before now. It's the game of Reindeer. And, uh, yeah, I, I've never played it up till now. I have played most of the Imagic games growing up. And this is one that always sort of, uh, we just never had. Really, really happy to add to my collection. Sucks about the shipping. Oh well, not the guy's fault. Thanks Tom for sending me this game, selling this to me. I'm really happy. And if you have something up on there again that I need, I have no hesitation buying from it. What is an eBay purchase video without opening? I've got two more here. One, two to open. Let's do it right now. You can play an RPG if you want to read. I fucking love to read. But I need some action. I need something more. RPG if you want a treat That ain't no treat It's full of action With an epic story You knew I wasn't much of a hurry to do that Because I wanted an opportunity to listen to a little bit of RGC music huh? What a great freaking album The NES Years by the Rebel Gaming Club I'm sure Dan still has a few If you'd like a copy of that give a, Send Dan a message at uh, Go to the Rebel Gaming Club Facebook page, go to the Rebel Gaming Club uh, YouTube page, and send a note to Dan. You can buy the CD from him for 10 bucks, and man, I, I got it. It's, it's absolutely awesome. I got it back here somewhere. I don't even know where I put it now, but anyway, I highly recommend it. In the meantime, they're open. I got to show you this. This one is a great pickup for my Atari 2600 collection, and my, uh, Activision collection. One that I needed, Plaque Attack. You look at this, that label, that's still got the original cellophane from when it was sealed. Complete in box. Looking inside, yep, there's the cart, there's the manual. The box is in really good shape. I got a big jag of peanuts here in the box. Uh, we'll get rid of those. But Plaque Attack. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about the game. I, I really haven't even read that much. I never played it when I was a kid. I did have a loose copy of it, but it's one of the few that I needed for my complete Activision inbox collection. And uh, I am so happy to have finally picked it up and for a really good price. A really good price. It was a buy it now, or not a buy it now. It was a, it was a best offer. And I made him a couple offers. We went back and forth a couple times and we reached uh, something mutually agreeable. And here it is. It just looked like it was in such good shape. And I was right. It is. Very happy to add that to my collection. Thank you.
When I started collecting for the Xbox Originals, one of the things I said I wanted to do, one of the strategies I had, was to look at some of the heavy hitters and try to get them, first and foremost, get them out of the way because I really thought they would just start going up. It's not proven to be all that accurate, but more or less it is, and I still think they will over time go up more and more and more. So I've gotten a lot, if not most, of the heavy hitters for the Xbox Originals, but here is one that I hadn't picked up. And I don't know why, but I just saw a really good deal. Did I pay a little bit more than I wanted to? Yeah, probably. I didn't get as good of a deal as I normally try to get. But in this case, I picked up a copy of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I am not a big fighting uh, player, fighting game player. Um, but I got to try this out after spending this much money for this game, which, you know, at the end of the day is not a whole lot more than it was when it was new. But anyway, very happy to have that. I'm going to try it out. Um, man, Capcom, Marvel, can you get two better names? I don't think so. And this one is just, it's, it's evaded me for quite a while. Very happy to finally add it. Uh, I don't know who I'm going to play first. Captain America in here? I might have to play him. Anyway, right on. Well, guys, that's it for my eBay pickups today. Man, what a great friggin' day. Plaque Attack. Ice Track. Ice Track for the friggin' Magic in television. I love it. I love it. Phantom Dust. Grand Theft Auto uh, Double Pack. Missile Command. Sears Telegames. Man, I love Sears Telegames Complete in Box. And Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I've had my eye on that for a long time. And I almost forgot the most important thing. A schooner. Can't beat a schooner. Anyway, guys, thanks for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to hit like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 15, I'm Arkansas 85. You're watching Papa P, the old guy gamer. My voice is kind of out. We're at too many games. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. What the hell? Before... Ugh.